just a normal family. A little awkward, sometimes weird, loud and crazy. Wait, did I say normal? Oops, my bad. Stick around. Get to know us. We have Cheyenne and Tyree. This is Savannah. I'm Michelle. And this is The Shell Bill Life. Good morning, everyone. It is Tuesday, and I'm on my way to work pretty soon, but I can't believe I actually got up and cooked this morning. But what started that was Savannah got up, and I heard her frying bacon. She was up, and so I'm like, oh, I'll go make me some. So I made some bacon and eggs, but she's having bacon, eggs, and pancakes. So, yeah, that was just weird. So I'm going to eat my bacon because I have 15 minutes before I have to leave and then get to work. It is bright out, but it looks like it just rained. Tariq has water spots, like water droplets on his car. So, I had to bring my coffee with me. I actually made it to drink at home, but once I seen Savannah was up fixing her food, I totally forgot about it. And then I went in there and started cooking mine. So I'm just gonna bring it with me today. I completely hate our late days because I don't like getting off at 5.30. That sucks. But the good thing about it in the summer, which is actually going to be starting next month in May, they change over to their summer hours, which is Monday through Thursday, 7 to 3.30. And then Fridays, you know, it's still 7 to noon. So the only thing I'm not gonna like is getting up early every day, but I'd rather get off early than to be there at 5.30. Cause I started after Christmas and it was the winter time and 5.30, oh my goodness, it was so dark when I got home, I didn't wanna do anything. So yeah, I wish they changed the hours completely and leave it like this. I don't like the staggering out, well not staggering hours, but I don't like, oh, one day come in at this time and then next day come in at that time. I don't like that, but it is what it is. Okay, so it's after work, it's nine o'clock and I'm actually uploading a video. Oh so, yeah, our internet sucks, so it's gonna take a while, but it'll be up tonight, probably by midnight at the rate it's going, it takes forever. Anyway, um, so what happened today? What do I have to tell you guys? Remember when I told you guys that pay period had ended in those paper time cards? I don't even have it anymore to show you guys what I mean. Um, we were writing it the old fashioned way where they were. So they took them away completely. Everybody was really upset and this is so hard and it's an app. You, you log in, you click time punch and that's it and you clock in and out for lunch. And most people everywhere usually have to clock in and out for lunch or unless you are salary or I don't know. There are very rare instances where you don't have to clock in and out. So now they're complaining over that and they were like, well, I'm just gonna write my time down on a piece of paper. Well, the lady who does payroll, she was like, well, you know what? If you don't do it on this app, we're gonna assume you weren't here. So the app, you can log in and clock in and out. And if you miss a time or you clocked in late, but you really were on time, something like that, you can leave a note to tell her why you missed a punch. So it's very easy to use. I used this at other jobs before, this particular app. So it's not hard at all. So they are just having problems. And so I came in after lunch and I pulled out the app and I clocked in and one of them said, isn't that a pain in the butt? But she said the other word. I said, no, it's, it's really easy. I got a call today from my old job. Well, not from my old job, but a coworker at my old job. One of the office managers at the office where I said, okay, there's a big boss and stuff like that. Okay, 
one of the office managers, she, I think she just turned 40. She had a massive stroke on Saturday and she was in a coma. So yeah, that wasn't very good news. And she has two kids. One is 17, which she is going to graduate next month. And then a seven year old. Yes, her kids are 10 years apart. So yeah, I'm just like, even though me and her weren't close I still worked with her for years for like four years so yeah I was pretty bummed over that so I'll keep you guys updated hopefully she wakes up and everything goes well they don't know what the damage is as far as speech or you know if she will be able to walk stuff like that so hopefully things will get better with her but I also said that to say <laughs> So because of what's going on with her, and I'm not laughing, whatever, I'm just laughing at what I'm going to tell you guys because this person then lost their mind. So at that old job, the big boss asked the person who called me, what do you think? Do you think Michelle will come back? No. She told him, no, don't even waste his time calling me. Dude, I'm not going to see the way he is. He'll do stuff to get his way. He makes promises that he never keeps. He'll lie to you to your face and then you get in a situation and you know, it's totally different. Yeah, I, I stayed there four years too long and yeah, no dude, no, I'm not going back. So don't call me because I'll probably laugh in your face, hang the phone up, probably won't. I don't know, maybe I will, but yeah, that's not gonna happen. Hey everyone, so it is Wednesday and I just got home from work, but I'm excited because they are outside cutting the backyard. I did convince him to come two days earlier and they're out there. I don't know if you can hear it, but there's actually a weed that's growing like right in front of this window right here. And we've cut it down before, but it keeps growing back. The guy said it's a weed, but it looks like a tree to me. Did you know that? That tree that was right there that we thought was a tree, the, the guy said it was a weed, like a wild weed. So anyway, that's what they're cutting down now. I think the soonest we'll be able to get Boston will be Friday because tomorrow's Bible study and no one's not gonna be home all day. So yeah, I'm gonna call the lady so we can get him on Friday. Call her right now. I'll call her in a minute. So they're done as far as um, cutting the grass. They are just doing the cleanup now. And I was gonna show you guys, but I didn't wanna look like a creeper holding the camera out there <laughs> so you guys could see them. So they're still out there cleaning everything up and I'll show you afterwards, but I wasn't gonna show you the before cause it was pretty bad. And actually it was worse than what I thought because when it rained, I guess sometimes the rain came in sideways and laid the grass like flat in certain areas. So when I looked at it this morning, I'm like, oh my goodness, it is definitely a jungle again. It was worse than what I thought. So we're in Walmart in the dog aisle and Savannah is making all kinds of noise with the animals, the animals, the little squishy pet things, not real animals. Okay, it is Friday and we are actually getting Boston today. I don't know if I told you guys that earlier and I'm backing up because the TV is loud in the living room. Anyway, today's Savannah's last day from spring break. I know I look a mess because I was out in the backyard like straightening up some things and moving things out the way, making it look good. Um, they did come and cut it, so it looks amazing. Um, yeah, so they should be here in about an hour. I'm so excited, you guys. Did I say today's Friday and we're getting Boston? I'm so happy. All right, you guys, so this is our backyard. And yes, it's pretty huge. I've showed you guys this before. So we need to water the grass, I know. So he did say he sprayed something right here and right here and along the side yard so the grass won't grow back. But I don't know, I just thought it would look different. I don't know, maybe it just takes a while for it to die off. So yeah, this is our backyard and it's not the prettiest of things, but hey, when we don't have a dog, the backyard is pretty much non-existent. We don't even think about it. And then we'll look outside the window and be like, oh, grass is high. So yeah, you guys, I do plan on getting this like landscaped and made prettier. Boston is home. Hi guys, say hi. Say hi to everyone. This is Boston. Hi. Yeah, and I had to sign a bunch of papers and got some things right here for him. I need to go get some food. Um, I don't know if he's hungry right now, Savannah. I don't know, we'll find out when he eats later. 
Hey, say hi to everyone. He is he tiny. Like that, huh? Sorry, but he's kind of he's kind of chunky right here, you guys. He's a when chunky boy. Up, one time, I think he was like, he was like, ah. he didn't want you picking him up. No, I don't know. I think he was just confused. Oh, yeah. They said his, his brother was. Were shaking his head oh, up. they said his brother was whining, and now he's probably looking for the lady who left. Oh, his yeah. ears still a little bit wet. They um took him to the groomers before Something. he came. Boston. Yeah. Hey, boy. What's your name? Okay, we should. Yeah, we should get going. Yeah. Savannah keeps running with him because he's so short and stocky. He doesn't run. He just walks very fast. <laughs> and he's not interested in no toys. Like, watch. Savannah. Because <laughs> he got short legs. So we are about to get our car washed. And he is really good in the car, you guys. We knew this before we got him because they told us this. But he's just laying down to get the car washed. Where I park at work is apparently under a, where a bunch of birds are in the trees. So yeah, my car has bird poop all over it. I didn't know how he would react in here, if he was gonna get scared or what. But he did pop up. Just getting him used to everything. Look who's making herself at home. He is a messy drinker. I don't know if you guys could see the water droplets on the floor, but he actually ate and drank and he tracked it all the way over here. He's been going around sniffing like everywhere, just getting used to his surroundings. And we have to keep like bringing him outside so he realized, you know, the sliding glass door right there is where he needs to go to go out. He is potty trained, but we need to just get him on a schedule here. He's sleeping right here on the floor, and Savannah's on his bed. What's wrong with this picture, Savannah? <laughs> okay, you guys, normally I have never allowed none of the dogs we had to get on my couch, but he just hopped up there. He's so cute, and he's laying on my blanket. Get him. Boston. You guys are gonna get sick of us, just like when we got Cody. So Cheyenne is meeting Boston for the first time because she wasn't with us when we went to see him. But yeah, I got this blanket out to put on the couch. That way, if he gets up there, he can just be on the blanket and not on my leather. Cheyenne said, ooh, he's so ugly. But he's so ugly, he's cute. Well, he's nine. <laughs> I think he's adorable. I think he's so ugly that he's cute. I don't know what attracted me to this dog. I really don't. We took him out to use the bathroom and he went, but Savannah's trying to make him run and he's not doing anything. Make him run. <laughs> so you guys, remember my ghetto screen because we don't have a screen? Yep, I got it up right now. And um, Leo, no my goodness, Boston just walked out. Ghetto screen. What is he doing? You coming back in? <laughs> she threw the ball and he just looked at her and came back in. Go back to your spot. He's exploring. He is exploring. What you doing? What you doing? Austin, you wanna play outside with me? You wanna play? You wanna go outside? You wanna go outside? You wanna go outside, huh? Huh? He said, nope. Requires running. It ain't happening. Come on, 
He's like, I guess. My dog. It's our dog. This reminds me when we had Leo. I don't know. He reminds me of Leo. Even though we don't know his personality yet. Where you going? Where you going? You going to play now? Are you trying to make him run? I think he's trying to come back in. Savannah. Savannah. <laughs> Rick said he looks sad. Nothing's wrong with him. I like him. <laughs> Leave him alone. <laughs> he even scratch his face. Man. So we are actually going to go to Winco. As soon as Savannah comes out, um, Shine is gonna stay home with Boston. Shine is so mean. She's like, he is so ugly, but I love him. She's so mean. You knew what? Yes, I'm blogging. Get in the car. Wow, this is where we left them, and this is where he is. But make make no make sure he gets on the um on the blanket, Savannah. He moved the blanket. Okay, but I want him on the blanket. If he's gonna be on the couch, he has to be on the blanket. Okay, come here. She actually is outside with Boston, seeing if he needs to use the bathroom, and I'm covered with this. No, it's not cold. It's just I'm just trying to be modest, you guys. So he is out. I think he's using the bathroom again. So yeah, you guys, um, he's really quiet. As you can see, he is not really doing anything. In the last video, I think I told you guys that he came as a pair at first and then we just have him. And the lady said that when she took him away from his brother, the other, is his name Bailey? Bentley, whatever Boston's brother's name. He kept whining and yipping and yapping and whatever like that. So, yeah, um, I feel bad if I tore him away, but there's no way I wanted to have two dogs in the house. So, so he is actually eating, you guys. When we first got Leo, he did not eat barely for two days, and he is a very well, messy he's eater. Fat, so of course he's gonna eat. Yeah, he, he is. this <laughs> Boston, you guys. He loves to eat. See, he's a messy eater. He takes the food out of the. Um, bowl and puts it on the ground and eats it and anytime he hears a rapper or if he sees you eating anything he'll look at you and he's like what you got it's funny because all of our dogs have eaten right here why does he Where take it out huh Where else no all, I've made all of our dogs have their dinner right here their dinner <laughs> I guess it is your dinner yeah, because he's he's a mess. He's messy. Is his, is his ear in his mouth? It was. He was getting the food off of his ear. It was like stuck to his ear. He was like... <laughs> oh, she's been watching the Beyonce movie. Oh, everybody's been watching that lately. Oh my gosh. Is the food is just on his ear. So he was laying down, had his head down. Savannah pulled out the sunflower seeds. He heard the rapper and he picked his head up and he was like, what are you eating? So Boston has visitors. Say hello. Hi. Hi. <laughs> you guys know Evie and that's Emily. What are you laughing at? And that's Boston. <laughs> so he finally got Boston in his bed, even though it was on the couch. But Savannah and I, I know. Wait, what'd you say? Well, that's true, but he doesn't want to leave this area to go back to the rooms, to sleep in one of our rooms on his bed. So we just left him there and we are having a sleepover in the living room tonight because these chairs recline. So yeah, we just want him to feel comfortable and eventually I know he'll start roaming or whatever. But and yes, we put a doggy diaper on him in case he gets up when we are asleep. But he is older and he's pretty smart because we took him outside and he pretty much knew what to do. So, <laughs> all right, everyone, I'm just going to end the video here. I am tired. So, yeah, we're just going to sleep out here, camp out in the living room and 
Just try to make him feel comfortable. He'll eventually roam around and all that. I try to like, not force him, but pick him up to take him in the room and you know, even tempt him with treats to walk down the hallway. He, he's not having it at all. He will get down off the couch and go to his food bowl, which we move because we don't want him like going eat and drink in the middle of the night. And I don't know, us not hearing him and you know, having an accident somewhere. So we put that away. And yeah, we'll just put it back down in the morning when he eats breakfast. But anyway, I'm gonna end the video here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Give this video a thumbs up and do me a favor before you leave, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. Say goodbye, Savannah. Good night. <laughs>